awesome. Yes, happened last game, obviously. Well, something happened. You something guys, special um, happened. Everyone knows Jared's a Warforged. My character got really pissed off at a magic show. Um, Domoy well, did his magic fancy show magic with tactical like, stuff. Air quotes. Hey, that was the most legit magic in the world, okay? Uh, by the way, uh, Lamb, I assume you can't actually get in because computer issues. I'd rather not try. Honestly. Fair enough. And Jared's still what? Combat? Or what the fuck is he doing? What? For now, I would assume... Uh, well, he's in the other D&D session right now. That's what we're saying. Is, yeah, like, is it no still like a combat or something in that over? one? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. It sounds like they're in the up. background. <laughs> Alright, well, when he, when he joins, he, he joins. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, but... Last game, you guys had uh, started day two of the tournament. You had dodging, where the, uh, who was it? That was Jared. Jared's character Got owned had by a fireball. to dodge, and he did the best until fireball. he got to the fireball, <laughs> and bullshit. it revealed he was a warforged. That was and such cheap bullshit. <laughs> It, it's supposed to be. It was supposed to be the, if you get to this point, you better roll a 20, or you technically will get hit with a fireball. And by technically, I mean literally. Maybe Never for half less. damage, but... Oh no, it wasn't for half damage, I just rolled low. I had full intent on killing his character. No, no uh, with, with half damage because of a dodge. Oh, gotcha, yeah, because he, yeah, that's true. He took half damage, so I technically would have killed him with that roll. Anyway, um, the, after that whole ordeal happened and it just got reworded to everyone because no one knows what a Warforged is, that, oh, this is just a guy who's welded into his suit or magically attached to it. So the public might think that you guys, he told, you know, no, this is literally me. I'm not a person under this. Oh, he lied to Let's everyone. add note that he is made of mithril. And he is made of Mithril, which makes Kelb's character very interested in him. But uh, after that, you then had a magic show. And a few people showed off kind of magic. Demoise's character showed off some interesting magic. And then you had Octominos come out and show off magic that, for Lamb's character, is kind of, uh, oh my god, that's not just imaginary. That can actually be done. So That's his character kind of went into a sh into a uh, trance of holy shit. To which then Jared's character got talked to by uh, Octominos, and then the rest of you waited and talked to him, except for Tate and Jared's character. And Tate got pulled into, or not Tate and wait. Jared. Tate and Lamb. Jared didn't wait for himself. <laughs> yeah, Tate got pulled into a scamming of sorts, and by of sorts, uh, it's exactly what it was. I, I earned money. I earned a decent yep, you, living. You earned a little bit of money off of that. A good amount of money. And, as as uh, Sanders would say, I earned a living wage. And to celebrate it then, characters went and uh, met up with Gnome and got some items. Except for Tate and Lamb, who went back to the guild hall. And the party wrapped up with heading back into the guild hall, except Tate and Lamb's characters were already asleep, so Jared's character was like, I'll just hold on to these and give it to them. And my that might be a rod out it when we start here, should the, he the not be in here. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, we could say Jared's character went out during the night, because, you know, he's done that once before, he's already established I think it. he's just willing to be sitting I mean. in the library watching That's what I mean. if he, this. If he doesn't get here when we start in literally, like, five seconds, um, I'm going to errata it that he went out to go, after he did what he did and watched her for a while, he went out to go wander the city, and he just told her to give you got to give the two characters their gift and just be done with it there instead of he's walking around with it and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Sounds that's like the plan. curse of uh, yeah. That's the curse of not showing up immediately. You know, the DM gets to pick what your character does. Basically, I 
still don't understand why both of you Pretty run much. games back to back. That seems like a terrible idea. I only have an hour. Show up on time. I only have an hour in between my two. Jared has zero minutes apparently. Yeah. He has a negative <laughs> well, hour Normally he's done by. Normally he's done at eleven. So. Which means he's been going over for two hours and fifteen Ours. minutes. Okay. Yep. Must have got super interesting. All right, so characters wake up. Uh -huh. Um, we're we're starting. If, no, I'll give no, everyone a second. I, oh, okay. I, I just said that. So characters wake up. Everyone is ready, right? Yeah. No one's on a just gotta get the mindset okay. of the characters. About as ready as I well. can be. Characters Roll wake call. up, and before we go. <sighs> No. Everyone's here but Jared. No. Done. Okay. So, <laughs> starting off with you, Tate and That's Liam. His... You two wake up in your room. If you take a second to look around your room, which I imagine you do, because no one's that much of an early bird in a sense, you would see there is a small little baggie on each of your uh, desk side things. With your name, with your character's names clearly written next to the bag that's on your little table desk with? bullshitty thing, uh, it's cl it's calligraphy tape. It's super nice and fancy, and clearly, uh, Cl Clara Clara is really good at this. I'm gonna have a talk with her later on. Oh my god, we have something in common. What, calligraphy? Yes. The fact that she can write it and you can't? <laughs> no, my character can. I, tell, I told Liam when I was writing it earlier. I have no idea what was just said because my internet cut out for a second. Good so job, all I heard internet. was, and I do... <laughs> Without right, the so fucking phone. phone sound. Liam, you wake up <laughs> and you see a bag with a little card with your... Or, parchment with your name written in calligraphy next to it. It's clearly meant for you. There is also one for Tate next to him. Uh, or her. Whatever. Um, so yeah. Proceed and tell me if you pick up the bag or if you're just like, <laughs> fuck that and you just walk away. I, I need to know what you do. I'd probably pick, pick it up, but I probably wouldn't open it at this point. I pick my bag up and take a nice little peek inside. All right, so Tate, you get up, you see Lamb's character get up, grab the bag, and just get ready for the day. But as you open yours up and you open it up and you look inside, what you see inside is quite simply a ring. Ooh, shiny. It is a back onyx ring, if you could tell material. As far as you care, if you can't tell what material it is, it is a black ring. Man, put your damn phone on silent. I just did. <laughs> We're supposed to be professional. Hey! Mine's on silent. And I'm the one using hey. my phone to talk to you, Lamb. <laughs> well, I, all, I also leave mine on full, because if I don't and I get a call in the middle of the night, I won't wake up for it. Good, Jared it's the middle of the fucking yellow. night. I was going to say, Lamb, I'm the exact opposite of you, and I actually have it off because I don't want to be woken up in the middle of the right. night. I sleep at weird hours. Same. I do too. I sleep until about noon half the time. I actually I have no problem from waking like... up, so my phone is usually on the loudest it can get. To wake Look who decided to show up. Oh, by up. the way, sorry about that, Jared. I did lock down the room in case anyone else randomly joined. So I, I forgot you didn't have the password to the channel. Oh, okay. I was I was trying to figure out why my audio wasn't working. So since we started a little bit before you joined, Jared, I, uh, I uh, eroded it and I have you walking outside for now. And the bags are just placed on the tabletop next to Tate and Lamb. That sounds fine. I don't know. You were, you were very adamant about giving them their gift to themselves when you talked to uh, whatever the fuck her name is at the desk. Clara. Sure. Let's go with Clara. <laughs> we're just going to say you your character got bored of looking at the dictionary or something. Or her. So this is English. <laughs> 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 
Don't you mean common? <laughs> you mean sure. common? <laughs> yeah. So this common. is under common. What? We have books on that? All right, so Tate, what do you do? Do you like put the rain on, pocket it, just leave it in the bag and pocket the whole bag? What do you does do? It's black, it's shiny, and I seem to have very good luck when it comes to items. So I, well, considering the only item I have is the cursed pendant, aside from my other stuff, which is regular, but I'm talking jewelry. You know what I mean. I put the ring on. All right, fantastic. Nothing feels different. He is engulfed in fire Ooh. and flame and has been transported to the plane of fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're now I in hold... the middle of the plane of acid. Good job. I hold my, hand, dead I hold my hand out. I hold my hand out, start examining it. I turn to Lamb and go, what do you think? Looks pretty good, huh? I already left. <laughs> oh. I pretty much... My character um, notices put, that. Just Put now, my bag like, into left. the... Um, I pretty much put the parcel into my pack and went down. Psst, you may need the you may need Your parcel, the lamb, was a bit longer than than Tate's. Right. Mine was beautiful. Was it brass knuckles? No, like Tate's little thing was like a small little baggy, you know, bigger for bigger than the rain, but big enough that you wouldn't think it's like a sword. Whereas Lamb's so was a bit knuckles. larger. That's what she said. Brass knuckles, bigger than a ring, couldn't be confused with a sword. Yeah, I'd say it'd be about the bag be about the size of a brass knuckles. If you try to put brass knuckles in the the bag, you wouldn't really be able to seal it all the way. Okay. Unless they're in a box. So I wander after Lamb, like, hey, wait up! Alright, so What'd as you, you exit as you exit the room to tell to yell at Lamb, what did you get? We'll swap over and go to Kelb. You wake up as well. It's a normal day. I obviously take a look around the room and notice Jared's not here. Whatever the hell his character name is. Zephyr. Thank you. And I notice Zephyr's not in the room. I uh, proceed to head out down to the bar for the breakfast. Alright. And as you head on out then... Noah and Des Moines, you guys also both wake up in your room. Again... The, nothing different or new, it's just a normal day. I'm gonna get up and, uh... It's my newly found bag, I'm gonna start putting my extra materials in it. Just a few things. Alright. Head, uh, head out to the breakfast area. And All right. I will follow you shortly after. So the two of you head out of your room. As luck would have it, you three exit your room at the same time as Jared or as uh, Lamb's character is. Tate would be uh, slightly behind the rest of you. So you see each other in the hallway. Feel free to converse or not converse and just head down for your breakfast either way. So it's a big day for you now. Do you think you got it? My guy, by the way, my guy looks like he hasn't fucking slept at all. <laughs> He did he not got, have like, a good night last night. He got like two hours of sleep, and that's combined, because he just kept rolling around being like, Oh god! Waking up imagining fake animals. Um, would, <laughs> would we need to roll perception to see that, or is it that obvious? No, my, my guy's face is just not, like, my eyes are, like, sunken. You can tell I've, like, I'm just very obviously have not slept. Yeah, basically hey. what you see is he had a bad night's sleep. If you truly, truly, truly care to know, Demois, how much sleep he technically got, you could roll to see. If his character was trying to hide it and lie, he'd have to roll a bluff or a perform, in a sense. And then you could try to roll a sense motive and see through it. But it, no, it, it doesn't I'm matter more, too much. I'm just more or less wondering whether or not my character would be concerned. Which my character would be, because I'm the cleric here if, if your character is concerned then your character is concerned that's entirely up to you your okay. feelings are up to you unless i state otherwise and that's only because of whatever reasoning there might be well what i'm saying is if he didn't seem like obviously tired then my character might just blow it off no he probably seems tired okay hey you okay i've been better 
What did you get? I'm into still last just make, I'm just making my way down to the um, pub at this point as well. All right. As you passed, and and uh, the Moise's character was, hey, are you okay? And you're like, I've had better. Uh, in case you didn't hear, Noah's character also was like, so you're ready for the big day? That that comment, I'm just blowing off. Okay. I come up behind. Uh, at that time, I'm guessing that's when I show up behind Lamb. Yep, at this time when uh, he answers um, Demois and he walks past Noah, that's when you exit the room and you see everyone in the hallway. I obviously heard Demois, right? Sure. You should oh, check what way, you got. Demois, I got the a ring. Semi that? Your, your character name? Semi yell. I'm telling uh, Lamb, you should definitely check what you got. I got a shiny me? ring. Yes, yeah, we can hear yeah, you. We can hear you. Okay, yes, yeah, semi yell. That's my character. Semi yell. Gems are truly outrageous. If you couldn't catch on, Kelp, he's he named his character off a uh, uh, angel of death. Yeah, I know. Well, I did. Yeah. Technically you did, but yeah. whatever. Well, technically in this universe, Demois named him, but technically in that universe, yeah. his character's father named him. <laughs> and because in the parallel killed, universe, oh. it was all decided on a uh, poll on the internet because multi universe theory. Sure, why not? Also no, in that just... universe, we're all Velociraptors. Indeed. Even the grass oh. Velociraptors. Oh, uh, no, actually, the grass is all minor uh, Tarasks. Oh, yeah, Tarask. <laughs> Only if there's there a universe where Calv is... What? Catapulting Tarask. <clears throat> There's the catapulting Tarask <laughs> that's holding a Katamari ball. <laughs> la 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 I got a, I got a ring and I showed it to him. And at this time, I also um, said, um, oh, I also got you, I got a ring. Um, um, here, look at it. Oh, oh, by the way, I got you something. Um, tape. Um, fox and thingy. I, tape, fox person that I can't Avina. remember the name of. Avina. Avina. I got, I Whose name is actually about. on the table, by the way? Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Because <laughs> I, I figured that's a fucking great idea. Put your name on the board. I, I don't disagree with it. Though the whole level 1 Arctic Fox Skin Ranger thing, probably not necessary. Along with okay. Enough, you know, Ave but... Avina, I got you something while I was out. And I hand him the ropes that I purchased. I hate doing this. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick, guys. Kate's now a male confirmed. Uh, her. Her. I got her. Sorry. There. Calum is truly outrageous. I don't want to go through the config to open it up again. Also, goddammit, Taffer reminded me of, uh, fucking... Tarek. Did he remind you of Tarek? Or did he remind you of Jam? Both. It, it led me to remember of Tarek, which led me to Gems. Come on, window. I'll take this new one. Tools. Apply. Damn it, window. Open. Thank you. Window God, open? it's fucking hot in my weir. Wait, hot my what? Did I'm I back, weird? I'm sorry. I really huh? had to go pee. I'm, I'm sorry, well, guys. It, okay. at, at least it's not hot in your wear. <laughs> hot in my wear? Uh-huh. Uh, just was, before you fucking showed up, Lamb was opening his window up, and 
I... Apparently it's hot in my weir. Oh, and well, no, it's actually English. hot in this room, too, so I'm currently without a shirt on, my pants are unbuttoned, and I have a fan blowing on me. Uh, uh yeah. I'll, 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 can I be that fan blowing on you? No. It's comments like that, dude. Anyway. D Demois, are you having fun with the, uh, the type here? Um, it's not let me delete for some reason. You have to click the trash can. I am, and it's still not That hard. deletes <laughs> stuff here. I, I'll, yeah. let me get it. Yeah, the text tool sucks. Needs to be better. Yeah. There we go. Why don't you just mod one? God. Because, no. <laughs> Sorry, because I don't have the tab. Oh, gosh. Says the guy making a Oh, it's Kick Joe. Hey, Dark Fan. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Making a what? For the host. Okay, there we go. I got my name on the table now. The comment was a lamb, Dave. Not you. I realized he got hosted. Oh. Oh. Dark All right, so. Uh, what did I miss? What did you guys decide to do or whatever? We were waiting on you to come back. We were just kind of making some all chat. Small talk. Chat. Small gotcha. Talk, whatever. Okay. Chit chat. Tall smat. As far as I'm aware, we're still kind of walking down towards uh, the bar lounge. Yeah, um, Tate asked us what we got, and I was like, "Oh, I got, I got a ring." Um, and also while I was out, I got you something as well, and I hand her the robe that I purchased. I'm sorry. Uh, that, yeah, Tate, you didn't get a ring. I had that written down wrong. Um, oh. Tate. You got a rock and uh, another bag inside. What did there. you get? I got a rock. <laughs> I got a rock. To and be fair, bag. I got a rock as well. well you got a different dwarf. type. But yeah, Tate, I'm sorry, you didn't get a rain. I forgot that rain that I wrote down was for uh, it's for Demois. Demois. Um, you have a rock and like a very smooth, about palm size <laughs> rock. And another bag inside of your bag. Bag exception. Smooth rock. Yeah. So that's what you have, Tate. I'm sorry. I, I told you the wrong thing. This does not upset you, right? No, it does. I wanted the ring. I well, really too wanted bad. The ring. I'm sorry. Well, now you're wearing a rock on your finger. Right. <laughs> now you're holding a rock. Bag. So, so just to flash backwards a little bit, Tate, when you open it up and you see that there's a rock and another bag inside of it, what what would your character do? Ask the dwarf well, to make a ring out of the rock. This is not what I was expecting, considering the shiny calligraphy on the front of this first bag. Ask the dwarf to make a rock out of the ring. <laughs> so do you pick up the ring and, and uh, try to open up the other bag? Rock, you mean? I, I pick up the rock and I'm like, I'm looking this thing over. Why? He, why the hell is it so polished? I'm gonna have to ask Claire about this. As you pick up the rain and you get done thinking to yourself, you simply hear rock. <laughs> you hear yeah. that rock, not ring. <laughs> I got a you hear rock. you hear a giggle. Oh yeah, tickle rock. <laughs> what do you do with the other bag then? Tickle rock. I. Shrug, I'm guessing the other bag is for storing said tickle rock, which is now coming with me. And so, I put the other I, I dropped the rock in the bag. Alright, so you put the, the rock in the bag. As you picked up the bag, you could feel that there was something in there. Oh. And now it's burger. I, I I look inside of that bag. You look inside of it and you see dice. Are we getting meta up in here? Apparently. <laughs> Kinda. To be fair, there are actual live people in this background image, so why not? <laughs> so yeah, so you see that there's dice inside of this bag. I look at the dice. Keep they're them dice. in the bag. You're not too sure okay. what material they're made out of. Maybe bone? Should I ask the dwarf? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely asking Claire about this. Tate, roll me a willpower I don't know where they came from. 
God damn it, Marcus. Marcus, did you say willpower, by the way? Yeah. What? Oh, will, but it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's willpower. We all know it. Mm -hmm. No. All right, you don't worry about it then. Okay. Well, I put them back in the bag with the calligraphy, both of them. And I put that in my own personal bag. All right, so you have a bag and a bag and a bag. Awesome. Yes. All right, so then you head out and you, you say the, hey, what did you get? And uh, Des Moines goes, here's your robe and uh, here's what I got, which is a rain. And um, with the little small talk that's going on, as I assume you begin to walk down, you guys get downstairs and start having food. Does anyone else wish to say anything during your your breakfast before you head on off to... Yes. Go ahead. At this moment, just to, I guess, interject real quick, as you guys get downstairs, you grab food and you sit down, Jared's character walks in through the front door. Oh, la -dee da I'm going to ask fucking Lamb. Perthos. <clears throat> you missed the R, but whatever. <laughs> what? Did I? It's Perthros. <clears throat> Perthros. Close enough. I really care that much. It was just funny. Perthos. You know what? It sounds like a fucking half elf name. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna look up. How do you I'm, spell it? Uh, my guy's uh, my guy's just tired. Uh, Kelb should have it on his phone. So I I actually have it on Notepad as well as my phone. But uh, T H R O S. There you go, Dave. Uh, anyway, Birth Rose. Uh, I was given a magic pedestal and rock yesterday by Gnome, uh, whom you were unfortunately unable to meet with us. Um, would you mind taking a look at it? Uh, sure. I don't know how much use I'll be, but I can try. Um, so just from a base look over of this thing, do I see anything? Examining it, you know that it's it must be magical in some sort of way. Anyone would, because it's a small disc-shaped uh, kind of pedestal, but not pedestal like discette thing. And uh, floating above it is a rock. As far as you can tell, this rock is just as if someone went up to some ore, knocked out some iron ore slash stone, and just put it above the pedestal. And now the pedestal is ho having it hovered above it. Granted, when you lean it, it's not falling off. So it's almost as if it, using real-world terms, is making a small little... Uh, gravitational uh, well. Right, gravitational well. So you could hold it upside down, and the rock would still stay where it's at. While well, simultaneously being magnetic. I use magnetic in the sense of explaining what your characters would think it is because I don't think they would really understand gravitational wells and that's not even what it is either it's like the so, ship from fucking Bioshock yeah. yeah yeah. so this is just a weird pedestal or not pedestal, diskette that's making a rock float away from it and when you hold it you would think that it should weigh a little more but it feels like the entirety of it must weigh only the weight of the rock and it goes across the whole thing so if uh weight feels weird i guess like the rock is obviously bigger so it should be leaning that way but it doesn't do you know what i mean um so it's still just floating straight up yeah unless you hold it upside down then it's floating upside down Right. Sorry, just give me a... Oh, fuck you, acrobat. God damn it. You are able to roll... Uh, or not roll. Acrobat. You're able to me. use Detect Magic if you have that and spend time staring at it and examining yeah, that, it to get a little bit more. That was going to be the next plan, and I was looking up Detect Magic. Basically, so Detect way, Magic is you cast it. it, and then so many you get so many rounds, and as you stare at it for more rounds, you get more information. Yeah, I'm just going to pull that then. There it is. Okay, it is still high lit. So yeah, I'll do as much of um, a discerning of it as I can. So 
That'd be what? Like three rounds, <laughs> what? technically? What? What is that, Tate? <laughs> it's a kid scene! Ow. Welcome to Kitsune Camp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give me one quick moment. Take your time. It's actually balanced on my head. That's the funny thing. By the way, the song that came on when Marcus handed me the rock and Lamb, we got the rock, was I Have a Magic Rock. <laughs> so what the fuck? Thank you, music. Good job. Oh, by the way, Kelb, if you don't mind, you uh, would you be able to roll for me today? Since, you know, yep. breaking shit. Yeah. Thank you. Why are these in my room? <laughs> the things you discover when you open your um, windows for the first well, time. Look at something real quick. Jared, as you walked in the room and you saw them sitting there and uh, something being handed from one character to another character, do you walk up to them or what do you do? Yeah, I start walking over. Did I miss right. the uh, handing out of the presents? Tate opened his. Lamb did not open his yet. Um, no, if that your was character, my character. Oh, your character's asking that to them. Gotcha. Um, would got my guy be totally focused on the detect magic at this point, or is this before I started casting? Because once he starts casting, he's basically not breaking concentration. Right. Um, no, you're starting to concentrate as he walks over. Roll me a con uh, roll a d20 for him for a concentration check, real quick. All the good news is I think I have a plus six to that. It's twelve plus whatever. Oh uh, yeah, I have a plus six. So eighteen. Yeah, you easily ignore what he says and concentrate on uh, examining this. Um, as you f begin to examine it, Lamb. You see that it is indeed magical. Uh, let me get up detect magic real quick. Mostly it's just like, oh, how strong is the enchantment? It's not like, oh, you're going to know specific shit about it, but. New fish cam. Fox head cam. Part of it wonders if Carrie is bothering Marcus right now. <laughs> no, she isn't. All right. Um. So the first little bit of it. What level is your character again? First. Okay. Uh, you have to ask that. You haven't given us any XP. I know. I I, I drew a blank. I think he's uh, drunk. I yeah. I made that drink a little strong. I'm not drunk, but. Uh, that probably is why I'm partially You're fuzzy. warm. Um, there's definitely, at first when you stare at it, there's definitely a presence of magical aura. And as this, as your spell is beginning to dissipate, uh, since you made your concentration check, the last little bit you're able to get out of it is there is definitely a strong magical aura, and you're pretty sure there is at least two auras coming off of it. Meaning this thing has two minimum spells on it. Potentially more. But the minimum two. So its purpose might be to create some sort of field that floats something. But you're pretty sure it does something else. But you're not 100% sure what. Right. Goose word off. So once I finish that, I'm just going to uh, push it back over to the dwarf and say, There's not really much I can tell you. As far as I can tell, there's two strong, uh, t two strongs. Wow. Uh, there's two spells, <laughs> and they're both at least relatively strong. They're both better than what I can do. And at this point, I know Jerry's character is like, oh, hey, how long have you been there? Not long. Uh, sorry, did, did, did you say something? I was just wondering if you got your presents. Presents? I got mine. I pull out my uh, bag within the bag. With the bag oh, you mean that? Head. Tate, roll I'm... me a listen check. Okay. Is there even a listen? No, oh, there is. 
I don't think mm -hmm. I need to uh, add my bonus to a four. Yeah, you do. What the hell's your bonus? For listen, plus three. That's more than enough. That's um, not bad. Tate, you hear what sounds like coming from the bag as if something said, feed me. And then you pull the rock out. Feed me. <laughs> guys, guys, I think my rock's hungry. Um, none of you hear anything, and all you see is Tate's character, she turns to her bag, pulls out something, looking at it for a second, pulling out a rock that's rather smooth, going, I think my rock's hungry. <laughs> this group just gets weirder and weirder. Oh, this fox kin has her pet rock. I just kind of put my um, hand on Noah's character's shoulder and just say, I've been dealing with this shit for five years. Trust me, it won't get much better. You haven't dealt with the speaking rock. This is new. <laughs> I turned the lamp. None of this you is hear definitely anything. New. We sure. We. Um. Let's see here. Tate, you don't Can hear I anything after that. Feed me. As in from the rock. <laughs> because you're tired. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hungry. I'm quite confused by this, so um, I will do. Um, see, I guess probably detect magic. I don't know what I would do. Like, like what would you do to see if someone's bluffing or someone's lying? I don't even know what I would if do. If you think someone's sense lying motive. to you, sense motive. Okay, sense motive. I'll do sense motive. Tate, can you roll me a, uh, we'll go with diplomacy? Diplomacy? Yeah, because you're not lying, so diplomacy. I got nothing in there. So, so roll, a roll. A, roll a 20. Fine, I'll roll a 9. Alright, it doesn't even matter what bonuses he has on because he rolled an 11. Um... He's, well, as far okay. as you can tell, telling the truth. I mean, okay. maybe he's gone fucking crazy, or she's gone crazy, but as far as you can tell, tell him the truth. Okay, it would be 17 total, by the way. Yep. At this point, I'm just going to turn from Tate slowly back over to uh, uh, Jared and just say, Anyway, I haven't actually opened mine yet, should I? Thought we were just. I thought these were just gonna be a delivery thing. Nope, they're yours. Oh. Okay. So um, at this point, yeah, I'm just gonna whip the bag out of my bag and open it and see what the hell I got. All right, you see, Lamb take out a bag. It's all been a bit longer, and your characters know, but a bit longer than yours. This one's about the length of your forearm, so wrist to uh, elbow, not shoulder. Yeah, elbow. Uh, and you open I it up. I hope he gets a thirsty rock. Do you pull something out? Yes. Alright, you reach in and you pull out a stick. <laughs> God damn it, Lamb, did you guess correctly? <clears throat> well, I, I think me and Marcus have talked about this before. So. We yeah, make a I think Lamb's character is the perfect character to give this to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to be like flipping around my hands just like, oh. Okay. Yep, it's a stick. Out of character, we can make a shovel in Minecraft now. No. No, we could make a hoe, though. With Aqua Affinity. I might need to go get another drink. <laughs> I will take you up on that offer, I guess. <sighs> We'd be closer to making a sword, because we only have one stick. All right, no more hey, talk about can, Minecraft. Hey, we have a stick do, and two stones. So if, we can make a sword. You, you could do detect magic if you wanted. Hey, Jared. To yeah, no, hey, that, Jared. Was my, that was my next plan. Hey, Jared. Mm -hmm. Before we continue, what's a Kitsune's favorite musical ensemble? One that doesn't suck. Moonlight Kitsunaba. That All was right. just bad. Lamb, I'm going to need a concentration check. Then a will check, then a fort check. But I'm oh god. 
Wait. So, yeah, Lamb's connected. character decides to use Detect Magic, and I assume his <laughs> eyes kind of glow from it, but still. And the concentration check is... 10 plus whatever. Plus 6. Right, 16. You are able to concentrate, and you start concentrating on it. Now a will save. Ironically, you're giving me t my two shittiest saves. <laughs> Wait. 7. Jerry, is that for now? 9. All right. And a fort save. 17. 19. All right. Wait, you seriously have a plus um, two to both? Mm -hmm. uh, I get you... plus two to wisdom naturally, or plus two to will naturally, and plus two to fort uh, fortitude from con. Hmm. Anyway. You don't have a physical headache. You have a mental headache. As you start to concentrate on this thing, and it's as if your mind gets overloaded where this item is very magical. And as far as how much is in it, you don't know. All you know is you don't want to try and uh, examine it anymore. But hey, at least you didn't take any kind of damage because you made the fort safe. So after that little debacle, my guy's just going to fling his head back and grab it and go, Oh, son of a... Oh, God, that hurt. Remind me not to do that again. Oh, okay, well, anywho, this is going back in the bag. Yeah, but it's definitely magical. You know stick it's bag. definitely magical. Hey, hey, hey. It's a stick of headaches. Hey, Lamb. Like... <laughs> right. hey. I love it. Hey, Percy, is your stick hungry? <laughs> if you were drunk, I swear to God I'd cast light right now. Tate, roll me a willpower. Okay. Twelve plus two. All right. Uh, you have the inkling to just real quickly scarf down all your food right here and now and go outside. It's just a thought. I'm not going to act on it. No, you kind of want to act on it. I kind of want to act on it. Yeah, you you, uh, you 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 want to act on that. I am really hungry. I... Can we go eat? I think it's time to eat. Tate, you're already eating. It's you got your food in front of you. It's not so much that you, you would do that. It's right more of now. a you just be looking at them and you just we be eating. like, huh, and just scarf the fuck down and just get up and leave. And you might just be like, I'm just heading outside, guys. Uh... I just said outside. I yeah. Yeah, but you're already eating. <laughs> Well, uh, that was different. That might be bad. Um, so, God. as Tate's character goes outside, does anyone else do anything? Or say anything? Um, no. by the way, did, did, um, did you put on the robe that I gave you, Tate? What? He gave did you, you put on the robe in the hallway? <laughs> oh, no, no. No rogues. You just made me waste one gold, Trevor. Is that no, not necessarily. In this city, not it might best. be semi-acceptable, but Tate might figure out he's gonna want to throw that robe on uh, down the road. Yeah. Yeah, probably. No, I, 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 that's out of character. I'm you know, like in villages, that think anything that's not normal is evil, and they have to kill it. Pretty much. Boys, he should have been a grafter like me. Make all the gold. <laughs> ah. Um, I guess probably would head towards the tournament. All right. So while the rest of you eat and get ready to head outside and go towards the tournament, but while the rest of you eat, Tate, your character heads outside, and upon getting outside, once again you hear, oh, "I'm so hungry," and you realize the rock is still in your hand, and, now and you know it's coming from it. Okay, um, listen here, Mr. Rock. I'm going to put you back in the box. Please, just don't be hungry. Just feed me. Why don't you just feed it, dude? I, I did <laughs> just feed you. <laughs> what the heck do rocks even eat? Uh... Huh. I think Look at all the food around here. I, we just ate a. We just ate a crap ton. You ate. I didn't. Uh. 
Why the hell am I feeding a rock? I, I, I hold up dirt. To All rock? right, so you hold up dirt and do you like put it on the rock? Yes. Oh, what the hell's wrong with you? That's not food. With it, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I thought rocks eat dirt. Okay. Tr um, what else do you try? I, I go back inside, maybe grab food. All right, you see Tate's character walk inside, grab, like, a small slice of ham, and stick it to the rock. Tate, you're the only one that hears, Oh, you sicko! This isn't food either! <laughs> Have you tried another rock? <laughs> Fucking rock shenanigans. <laughs> well, maybe the, the cow's right. Maybe it's a cannibal. Well, so you head outside and you go... Once she goes out yes. the door, I'm just gonna I'd lay over to the party and say, So, something very, very bad is about to happen. I don't know what, but I this put, isn't normal even for her. I put a rock on the rock. All I'm right. gonna follow her outside. How, how big of a rock, Tate? I'll give, you, I'll give you a couple sizes real quick, okay? You have tiny, small, medium, and large. Well... It's gotta be like I'm thinking like proportional, like human to end, like human to what you would normally eat. So I put like probably a tiny or a small on the rock. See, so tiny or small? Small. Small. All right. You pick up. It is a, hungry. You pick up a small rock and you put it on it, and you simply hear in your head, "Oh, you sick fuck! I'm not gonna eat a baby." <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. I'll get you a bigger rock. Put a bigger rock on there. All right, so you pick up a, a medium or a large? A, a Tate. I put a medium. A All right, you pick up a medium and you put it on it. You go and you hear it go. Oh no, no! A, oh, a, 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 a Tate, why haven't you asked it what it was to eat? He has. He has. It just went. Uh, oh, okay. What? You have two other sizes of rock to try if you wish to continue trying rocks. Ow. Mark used to giggly about boulder and mountain. <laughs> those are those are bigger than large. Oh, uh, large rock. This is no time for a car. Or no, not a car. This is no time for a wagon drive. <laughs> what do you want for me? It's making a car. Why don't you out try a tiny? Tape? I put a tiny rock on it. All right, you pick up a tiny <laughs> rock. When I say tiny, we're talking like pebble, like almost so I nothing. So I'm right, proportional. <laughs> oh god, it's a yeah. penis. <laughs> and uh, you, <laughs> no, you pick up a pebble, Tate, and you put it up to it, and uh, you simply hear in your head just, <laughs> just munching noises. <laughs> the rock and the pebble are still in your hand. You hear a burping noise. They are still in your hand, and you simply hear it go. I'm full. You can put me away now. <laughs> Tate, what the fuck did you just get? <laughs> he got the best <laughs> fucking troll item in the game. This is so... What the fuck? Oddly enough, Carrie was the other character that got this item for a while. <laughs> Tate got Boulder. I wanted Boulder. <laughs> get too full now. So, I... Put the rock away, look around. I probably garnered some fucking attention. I just go, what? Haven't you ever seen a fox feed a rock before? At this, all of you have finished your food and are heading outside. And time to hear Tate's character look at around and go, what? Haven't you ever seen a fox feed a rock before? I'm just going to hide my face and keep going. <laughs> I, I feel like I would do the same. I, I, I think I'm the perfect character to get this rock, because I think she's the most gullible to actually do things with the rock. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so... Oh, uh, my eyes. Does anyone actually say anything to Tate's character, or Tate, do you say anything to their characters, or do you simply go to the Coliseum in a pretty much silence due to the event that just happened? Yes, pretty much. I'm walking along while I'm Pretty much quiet, for once. I walk over to her and like, oh, you didn't even have to install yours. 
<laughs> I forgot about that. God damn it, Jerry. All right, well, <laughs> uh, you, you reached the Coliseum, and uh, you're all ushered to sit down, except for Lamb, who is to stay in the uh, waiting room for the co for the tournament. What about me? Is it day three with the drinking? Uh, well, you... yours is up later. Rem yeah, you sit down, but then remember they'll swap you guys out and have you go wait in the waiting room when they're okay. setting up the secondary. So, is there, like, a rules person or, a, like, a guard I can talk to in this room about something real quick? Absolutely, like there is wrong. a guard in there. Cool. Um, I'm going to approach the guard and ask him, is it illegal for me to cast something to make it less likely for me to die? Uh, yes, attacked? sir, it is. You must use no of your own items, armor, magic anything in general you must only use what we provide you okay or if you do not wish to use what we provide you you can always try wooing the animal to be peaceful to you and what exactly is going to be provided to me in that case or am i allowed to know before the actual beginning of my event you get to know um what you are given is let me grab it real quick you are given a Option of a dagger, or not option, you are given a dagger, a quarter staff, and padded armor. Alright. Um, I will take the, the quarter staff, or I'll equip the quarter staff and put on the armor. Um, what does the armor give me? Is that like a 12 plus dex? Right. Give me a minute. I think it's 11 or 12 plus decks. <clears throat> Padded armor is a armor or AC bonus of 1, a max dex bonus of 8, armor check penalty of 0, arcane spell failure of 5, and your normal speed. Did you say dex okay. bonus up to 8? Yeah. Damn. Well, it gives you no other real armor. <laughs> so... Yeah, it gives you one for AC. Basically, the only thing it does is it gives you one AC and 5% spell failure. So your dex basically gets capped at plus 8. But if you got to a plus 8, your character's sitting pretty well. Dodge all of that armor. So I'm going... I assume they give us locks for the lockers. Or are they are they running off of guard system shit? Guard system. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna throw the rest of my shit into one of the back... Or, one of the backpacks, one of the lockers. Okay. Um, I'm going to have... I'm actually not going to take the quarterstaff or the dagger. Actually, okay. no, I'll take the, I'll take the quarterstaff. Alright, I was gonna say, as soon as you put them down, one of the guards is gonna be like, you should take at least a, a, one of those weapons with you. Actually, what's quarterstaff versus dagger? I should probably look that up. I know quarterstaff is going to be a two-hander. Yeah. Quarterstaff is a 1d6 <laughs> times 2 bludgeoning. Uh, or, sorry. Yeah, 1d6 Time times 2 crit. bludgeoning. A dagger is a 1d4 1920 times 2 piercing or slashing. Are, are you trained in quarterstaffs at all, Liam? Um, I'm trained in simple weapons. It is simple. In that case, I think I'll go with the dagger. Basically, it's you get a 1d8 versus a 1d4. Or, oh, sorry, a 1d6 versus a 1d4, but crit range is higher on the dagger. And you can throw the dagger 10 feet. Um, does dagger run off of strength or dex? For attack strength? Bonus? They're both strength. Okay. You you can take both. It's not either or. I know. It's just I don't see the need to take both. Fair enough. Well, you could always throw the dagger and then swap out for the quarter staff. 
You could also throw the quarter staff as an improvised weapon and go for the dagger. That's true. Yeah. I could make a spear. Or you could use the quarter <laughs> staff as like a stick. Well, and it wouldn't really be a bench. spear, it'd be an improvised spear. <laughs> See if let me take some for rope. Um, but no, I'll, I'll go with... But, uh, yeah, I'll keep the quarterstaff. I'll just have it, like, tucked away in the back of my fucking armor or whatever. And I'll just have the dagger out for now. Alright. Uh, critical 19 to 20. 2x crit. Okay. This fox is so hard to balance in my head. Hey, Makes a good happen. Uh, well, I've had my. I'm still drinking my first drink. I'm almost done with it. All right. So you're ready, Lamb? Yeah, I'm just uh, putting all the stuff for the weaponry and all that fun stuff. All right. So while you do that. Uh, everyone can see once more the white-haired man stand up in the uh, spot that he's been. Announce him to everyone. And welcome back for day three of the tournament. Today, animal, or today, we start off with animal handling. Uh, if our contestants would please come out and take their spots. Lamb, you were ushered out with all the other contestants at the exact same time. This is new to the competition. Well, not new, but different to the other competitions. And uh, guards help you stand in a specific location. Oh, that seems bad. As they all walk off stage, if any of you care to roll whatever the hell memory would be, so wits, I guess, um... Unless you have a natural five. Does anyone have natural five? To, well, hang on. To, uh, I guess concentration. I do. I have a plus one. Right. Again, if, if you wish to roll it, you can, but the DC is five, so I'm going to say you simply get it if you stare at it after it happens. So you Maybe don't really have to roll it. Gather information will work, too. It's just if you want it right away, if you want the sudden realization or the... Uh, it takes a second. The sh right, the shock and then realization. But uh, glass rises up from the sand in the exact form of what that prismatic wall was. So Octominos' show-off might have actually been just to simply set up the stage. And show off at the same time. because it's And show off at the same time, yeah, because he's a show-off. He is. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it, it appears. You're all in your own little hexagon. And you hear him say, today's prize will be the golden heart egg. And it's a little pedestal with a golden egg. Except in kind of a shape of a heart. But is it floating? Um, No, it's just on a pedestal. Damn. You shall be fighting at the same times. You can see each other through the walls, but as you can tell, you're not going to be able to help each other out. You may either choose to fight your animal or pacify it. With that being said, let's begin. And as he says begin, appearing in front of everyone in the arena is a black bear. Oh. Lamb, roll me your initiative. Bye. Well, that goes well with the wording, quite, quite well. Uh, Lamb, three, plus. Four. Seven, okay. Yeah, you ain't going first. <sighs> Roll the black bear's initiative. I swear, I'm going to get one shot by this fucking bear. <laughs> the bear comes at you... Oh, actually, here, I need to roll this, sorry. You're I'm in fair. luck. Uh, the bear walks towards you with curiosity. You can see some of the other bears also approaching if you took the time to glance around. The members in the audience, if you took the time to glance around. 
Some bears are just curious. Some bears couldn't give a shit about their contestant. And some of them went straight up to try and just kill the motherfucker right then and there. Lamb, yours is one of the ones that is curious. 